good morning. I'm Ng Zi Tech, uh, regional anesthesia trainee from Hospital Kuala Lumpur. Today I'll be showing you uh, the erectile spinal plane block at the lower thoracic level. So the erectile spinal plane block was first introduced in 2016 to treat uh, acute and chronic thoracic pain. But since then, its uh, uses has been uh, has spread uh, across, uh, has spanned over like uh, for the indication has uh, become more. Uh, for example, for breast surgery, thoracic surgery, abdominal surgery, and even spine surgery. So uh, the erectile spinal plane block actually the is is a block where we inject local anesthetic between the erectile spinal plane uh, and the tip of the transverse process. So the erectile spinal muscle is actually a muscle that is uh, located at the uh, at the paraspinal column, which extends from cranium until pelvis. So the mechanism behind the analgesic effect of erectile spinal plane block is actually uh, believed to be uh, uh, the spread of the LA to the ventral and dorsal rami, as well as the paravertebral space. So um, the erectile spinal plane block is actually a relatively uh, easier block and safer block compared to the uh, paravertebral block and also compared to the epidural, thoracic epidural blocks. So it is a potentially uh, uh, good uh, and easy block to be performed for abdominal surgery. So today we have a patient uh, who had just undergone a uh, uh, laparoscopic nephrectomy. The surgeon has made a couple of incisions around the umbilical area on the right side and also had made a right supra uh, inguinal incision. So we are looking to block the uh, dermatom area anywhere between uh, T8 to L1. So because uh, previous case series studies have shown that a single injection at the thoracic level of uh, erector spinae plane can spread as wide as eight vertebral column. So today we are going to perform the uh, erector spinae plane block at the roughly about level of T10 in hoping that the local anesthetic will spread as high as uh, T6 uh, and as low as L2. So how do we identify the uh, area where we want to block? Actually, you can, there are a few methods. One method, you can actually palpate for the uh, trans, for the tra spinous process of the vertebral column first. Yeah. So the other one method is you can count the ribs. So we know roughly that the tip of the uh, scapula actually coincides with the, trans the spinous process of the seventh thoracic seventh vertebral column. So we'll start from there. And then I will count the ribs down. Okay? So we'll proceed. So I'm using a... Uh, linear high frequency probe, high frequency linear probe. You can also use a uh, uh, curvy linear probe if the depth of the structure is more than five centimeters. So, so this is roughly the tip of scapula, which is roughly coincide with the T7 spinous process. So I'm going to put my probe at the lateral side of the back and on, on the ultrasound screen, you will identify a round uh, hyperechoic line with a acoustic shadow. This is a rounded acoustic shadow which represents the rib. And in between the ribs, you can see uh, hyperechoic lines with a sliding sign. That, this, that is the pleura. So this is roughly, if this is roughly uh, the level at the level of the T7 transverse process. So I'll just slide down one, two, or three levels further. So this will be roughly where we want to put our block. Okay. okay. Next, uh, then we after identifying the ribs, uh, we will slide the probe medially and as you slide your probe medially under ultrasound, you see the transition from a rounded uh, ribs into a more square uh, transverse process. So 
this is roughly the image of the transverse process. And however, if you slide your probe too medially, and the, you will encounter a, a, a flat structure. Yeah, a flat structure at, at, at the depth. At the, that is the lamina. So this is too medial. So you actually have to slide your probe a bit lateral. So at this level, which is the transverse process, and above the transverse process will be the erector spinae muscle. So notice at this level, there is only two muscles above the transverse process, which is the erector spinae and also the trapezius. Usually at the thoracic level, uh, above thoracic five level, we can also identify the rhomboid. But at this level, we are unable to identify because the muscle has already inserted at the L, uh, thoracic five region. Okay. So I'm going to put my uh, inject local anesthetic at the erector spinae plane at this level. So today I'm using a Payong 22 gauge 80 mm needle. I'll, be, I'll go in plane. Huh? Okay, as you can see, my needle is approaching from the left side of the screen. Huh? So I'm, the needle is uh, going into the uh, erector spinae muscle. So you aim to, your, your needle should aim toward the transverse process, at the tip of the transverse process, so that allows you some room to hydro-dissect the muscle. So you see now my needle has already reached the tip of the transverse process. So I'm actually, this is the safety part of the block because you cannot go further beyond the transverse process. So you won't be hitting vascular structure or rib or, or pleura, sorry. Uh, so now my tip of the needle is already in, is already in the, above the transverse process. I'm going to start hydro dissect, injecting, uh, injecting LA. You can also hydro dissect if you, are, you cannot confirm the plane. So I'm using LA. As you can see, the plane above the transverse process is slowly expanding. Uh, as, and you can see, okay, if I stop injecting, see the plane will, uh, the column of local anesthetic will uh, start to uh, drop. This is called pumping effect. Lah, huh? uh, so I inject some more, LA. I'm by the way, I'm using 0.375% uh, ropivacaine. This is a volume-based block, so you can't you have to use higher volume and you, have, you should use a lower concentration. The minimum volume that we suggest is uh, 30, 20 to 30 mils. Because uh, you want that spread of the local anesthetic. Okay, as you can see, the LA is spreading at the plane between the transverse process and the erectospinae muscle. And if I stop injecting, they, they will collapse. And it's called pumping effect. Right. Then oh. you always have to make sure to see your tip. Sometimes when you inject the LA, the needle will migrate away from the plane. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I've almost, uh, I'm almost done with my uh, injection. I've already injected 
30 cc of local anesthetic into the erector spinae plane. So actually, uh, we can actually, uh, now I'm going to withdraw my needle, and we can actually scan again to see that actually the local anesthetic has spread a few uh, transverse process lower down. Uh, and also, there is actually cephalet and, and uh, cow, cow that spread of the LA. So if the LA is localized in one transverse process, one level only, uh, this means that it's only in the muscle. So it's not a good, uh, not a successful plane block. So if it has, uh, the LA has spread across the, uh, a few transverse process above and a few transverse process below, it's a sign that mark that it's a successful plane block. Okay, that will be all for my demonstration today. Thank you.